For the next few days, my mate and I will be living off this 5 metre boat on Gari Island. We have a goal to drive the boat from an anchorage south of the island all the way north to a campsite on a creek that is said to be crystal clear. That is going to be no easy trip though. We battle crazy weather in unknown territory. The sharks take our fish. Shark! Shark! But with fuel supplies on board and a location in mind, we are ready to give this mission a red hot crack. I think it's going to take a lot longer than we first thought. This episode is going to be a wild one, you legends. Strap yourself in and I hope you enjoy. So, I've actually never been to Fraser Island before, but it's been on the bucket list for quite a while. Before we start this epic journey by boat, Sam and I decided to bring the Jeep over on the barge for day one to explore the island and see what it has to offer. The first stop was Lake Mackenzie, massive freshwater lake with turquoise beaches. It is absolutely beautiful. After that, we drove on towards a sand dune system that backs onto a lake called Lake Wobby. Of course, that's a perfect opportunity for a sandboard. That's enough exploring for day one though. We have a massive mission tomorrow to get to the north of the island. It's time to go back to the boat. Man, so we just got back from one of the wildest days on Fraser Island and, well, the boat. I didn't realise that there's king tides at the moment, I probably should have checked. I expected the tides to be out, but uh, they are well and truly out. We're actually going to camp in the boat, so then when it's the middle of the night and the tide goes up, we can drive in and out. We're going to punch all the way north, but it's time to cook up some feed. Keen boy? Let's go! Let's do it! Look at this guys, this is our dinner. <laughs> you are joking me. What is life? Look at this for a spot. All right, I'm gonna get some sleep, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. For the next 24 hours, we're gonna be living out of this boat here. So we woke up this morning and, well, we got pelted on by rain last night. You'll see the tarp up the front there. I was on the swag right up the front of the boat um, and then Sam was down here on this boat mattress. But we are, we're feeling pretty good. We're gonna cook up some bacon and eggs and we're gonna head that way. We're gonna go all the way north right to the end. Fraser Island. It's gonna be an absolute mission. Weather's looking like it's gonna be pretty gnarly, but we're gonna try and do it, try and catch some fish, take you guys along. Let's go. That wind has just fully picked up. We've got a bit of a following sea right now. What's happening right now, guys, is the wind's actually howling that way at about 20 knots and the tide's rushing back in. So all the water is just going against each other and it's just ramping up and it's creating this chop. I think it's going to take a lot longer than we first thought. Let's come across this sunk boat, we're just going to check it out. It's obviously been there a little while, I think it's coming down to rip it out. And, uh, it's just sort of sunk there. With a quarter of the journey complete, we finally made our way to the more protected northern facing side of the island. From here it should be a long straight punch to the campsite with some specky views on the way. Oh, we're about halfway across now. We've been punching for quite a while but the weather's just turned absolutely magical. Look behind me, people weren't lying when they said the Fraser Coast is insane. Clear water, got this beautiful greenery and white beaches. Some of the craziest beaches I've ever seen. Honestly, this is insane. Bit of uh, brekkie, as you guys probably know. I this, didn't know. This I guy had know. no idea. He bought six bananas onto the boat. I'm still going to eat one because they're on the boat now. I'm not just going to chuck them overboard, but... I had one this morning. It's fine. Look, yeah. the weather is amazing. So for people who don't know, I think we need to explain. Yeah, yeah. It's an old wives tale that if you bring bananas on the boat, usually something bad will happen. I have never caught a fish before. And I'm out here in Australia right now, and it's been on my bucket list for ages to catch a fish and cook it. So we're going to see what we're going to catch. Toss the lines out, have a few beers while we're waiting, and see how this goes. We got one, we got one! We got a fish! We got a big one! Let's go, Jimmy, we got one! Yes, let's do we this! We found his bicycle here, guys! Come on! Yeah. Big tuna, I think. Big long tail. Oh! Is he gone? He's gone! Snap. Look at the fish! Oh, shark! Shark! Huge shark! We're just casting at these, at all these birds here. I hooked up a long tail tuna. And a shark just took everything. People told us the sharks here were bad. Holy wreck. <laughs> Look at everything going on here. Should we get this rod out? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. There is bait and tuna and shit everywhere. There's tuna. Look at the tuna. Right under the boat. 
They're everywhere, bro. Just came in from that um, fishing session. Cloud covers come over and you can just feel a bit of sprinkles. I've got a feeling we're about to get hammered by some rain right now. Just coming in, the tide is rushing out of this creek system. It looks a whole lot different in here to what it did before, I'll tell you that much. But we're gonna go over just behind there and um, hopefully try and find some shelter if a storm does pick up. Get the tarp set up and uh, end up cooking some dinner. We've still got plenty of time in the day, so might even go for a mud crab or a bit of a night uh, spotlight a little bit later, see what life's going around. Still excited. Oh man, we've just come in to this uh, creek here. As you guys will see, the tide is well and truly out right now. But what we've done is we've got the tarp over here to stop the rain. We're obviously sleeping in here tonight. Um, and then we've got a rope all the way from the back right to that tree over there. And then the anchor is just around the corner out there somewhere. So we're sort of kept horizontal directly looking into that rain over there. But uh, we're just gonna sit here. We've got two beers cracked. We're just gonna enjoy this beautiful, not so beautiful weather. And, uh, <laughs> and then we'll probably cook up some dinner and hopefully we'll get a sunset or something. But yeah. Fingers crossed. Here we have some sausages, some scrambled eggs, some wraps, high protein. So good, we're just about to munch into these. The sun's literally about to disappear, I think, and uh, that tide just completely on its way out. <laughs> yeah, we've had, we've had like no sun today because of this cloud cover, but looks still pretty beautiful. Look at the colors of it. I don't know the GoPro's picking it up, but it's got like that orange sunset. The sunset's trying to come out. Oh yeah? But it just doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't really want to. But anyway, we're gonna tuck into this, guys. I'm gonna leave you to it. Um, probably see you guys tomorrow morning. If I see anything later tonight, I'll show you guys. Well, the next morning we woke up to the conditions we were hoping for. In a few hours, the tide should be in and the creek system here should go turquoise blue. It's hard to believe right now, but time will tell. So cool, just out of the drone up. The tide is so far out, but there's so much different marine life. There's stingrays, there was a big shovel nose ray just cruising the shallows. Come back, got this dingo just laying on the beach here. We obviously heard the commotion, he's come over and he's just sit up there. I even had this turtle, this sea turtle, just go right near the shallows, right near the shore there, and it's so glassy. You pretty much just snorkel from the drone. So epic, it's like a mirror view behind us, look at that. All right, we're just gonna make our way to the point here, go for a bit of a look. Um, tide's all the way out again. We didn't really expect that, to be honest, but we're gonna go up, have a look at the flats. There's all these soldier crabs on the beach. Look at them, this is why they're called soldier crabs. Hey guys, where are you going? You got such a nice place out here. You're not even scared of me. They don't even see me as a threat. I could've just picked them all up. You are joking. After a few hours of waiting around, the tide was up and the dirty water had been changed into this crystal clear blue turquoise water. The colors are honestly hard to believe. So this guy's the place is called Wathumba Creek. You have to put my sunnies on, it's so bright here. But it's just magical. The water just comes out, there's a creek in here. And for some reason, it's just this turquoise color. It comes all the way out to the ocean out here. This place is Wild. Well guys, that is it for this adventure. The Fraser Coast has been on my bucket list for a very long time. To do it in this weapon of a stasa is a dream come true. It's safe to say that this place lives up to its name and I'll definitely be back. Australia just never stops giving. Every adventure I go on just keeps providing something new. It is wild. It's been absolutely insane. I can confirm that Fraser Island lives up to the hype that everyone gives it. Sammy is just on the barge right now. He's gone back to the Jeep. And we're actually gonna go home a little bit earlier because this wind's just picking up and it's due to rain up later this afternoon. So Sam's gonna take his car over on the barge. We're gonna head home. We're gonna drive all the way back down south. And I'm gonna see you guys for the next episode over in the Mackerel Island. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. It all really helps me do what I do, guys. Love you, heaps, and I'll see you next time. Woo!